Hello, greetings, people of God. Uh, this is Prophetess Nastasia Wu, and I would like to welcome everyone to my page. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, share. And also, I would love to hear your testimonies. I would love to hear your experience on your spiritual journey as well. Okay, let's get into the Word of God. Deuteronomy 11, 1, angel number 111. Check out my angel number playlist if you haven't already. Okay, Deuteronomy 11, 1. Love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws, and his commands always. So I was supposed to do this video yesterday, um, I was supposed to get this video out yesterday but I was so um, caught up with so many other things that I was unable to get this video out yesterday. So right before I went to bed, I was reminded by the Holy Spirit of this video and I, I, I started to have regret and I even woke up this morning with it on my heart. So, the title of this message today is called, What Did God Ask You to Do? What did the Lord ask you to do? Maybe, let's say you was at church, right? And the Lord put it on your heart to say something to someone or to do something for someone. And you didn't do it. Or maybe you was at a store somewhere or you was at the bus stop and you felt it in your spirit to say something to someone or to help someone, but you did not. The result of that, you felt regret like, man, why didn't I say that? Or man, why didn't I do that? Or I should have did that. Or I should have said that. And it could even linger on throughout the day or maybe even the next day. Brothers and sisters, that is the Holy Spirit convicting you. So it is very, very crucial and critical that we are we are sensitive to the voice of God and we obey Him because God uses us sometimes as a vessel to help His children, to help others, to be that blessing, to be that miracle, or to be the person. Maybe someone was about to commit suicide. You know, maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they just need some encouragement, some confidence, you know, to keep going. Maybe they were going through some spiritual warfare or attack from the enemy and they need, you know, that help to lift back up and keep going. So this is how you discern whether this is the Holy Spirit or not when it convicts you. Brothers and sisters, if this is the same thing for forgiveness. This is the same thing with forgiveness. What is the Lord asking you to do? Is the Lord asking you to forgive someone or something? Or is the Lord asking you to ask someone for forgiveness?